it's spinning. Let's see. <laughs> so we're online. Uh, we want to say hello to our brothers and sisters online. Let's say hello to them this morning. Hello. 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 And uh, you guys, I want you to know, uh, uh, I'm I'm not preaching today. I, I I've got a I've got a wonderful guest speaker coming in here, a, a student at Nazarene Bible College, a lifelong member of the Adventist Church of Nazarene. Our uh, web administrator minister i'm still thinking of the name to call it but <laughs> we'll think of a name for it but uh yeah uh he, he uh is a man of many talents and uh today he's got a word that he's going to bring for us so i'm going to open us in a word open us in a word of prayer and then uh joey's going to take it over okay i want you guys to check it out uh online too hope you'll be blessed let's open with a word of prayer heavenly father i thank you for this time that we can spend together and I thank you, Lord, for, for spending time with us in the worship. And Father, I pray that you continue to spend time with us even right now. That your Holy Spirit would just prevail, Father, that you would speak to us from your very word. What a privilege it is to have you speaking to us, Lord. And I pray that you would speak mightily through our, through our brother Joey, that you would say exactly what you want to say. I will give you all of this, and we ask it in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. Let's make Joey welcome this morning. It's good. It's good to be back up here. It's been, it's been four years I'm up here this, this year. Today's message is called, called the Anchor Homes. And Anchor, what is an Anchor? An Anchor is Something that holds stuff in place or like a ship or like a picture. Who who is our anchor? Jesus. Yes. He he us when we he holds us when we we everything or because of me, everything seems shaking around us. Jesus and his disciples were on a boat, and it was shaking. But, but a great storm, let's read, let's read about it, let's read about it in Mark 4, starting at verse. It is on that day when the evening came, he said to you, Let us go over, over to the other, other side. And after, after the meeting declared, it took, it took him a long time. He went along with me on the boat, just as he was. The other boats, other boats were, were with him, and if you get out of the wind, the belt developed, and the legs were breaking over, breaking over the boat. So much that the boat was already filled with water, and yet Jesus was in the stern in the back of the boat, sleeping, sleeping on the pillow, and they walked with him and said, Can you, do we not hear that we are perishing? He got up and he removed the wind. He said to them, See, peace be still. And the wind died down and it became perfectly calm. He said to them, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They became, they became, they became, but very much afraid. He said one he said to one another, who is this who is this that 
even the wind in the wind obey you. Let us pray and say, we are going to the other side. Going to the other side. Going to the other side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jesus don't say something. It's not following through with it. He said that when he was down on the cross, he did. He said that he will be, he will rise from the dead. He did. We, we are going to run into schools at times and make, and make rock a boat a little bit, but the question is, are we depending upon our anchor? We just rebuke the, the wind. Why do we rebuke the wind and not the sea? Because it was the source of the problems. The, the wind caused the boat to be beaten and shook. He just, he just don't, does not play around. He gets to the heart of, heart of the problem. Yeah, we tend to blame everything. But the real issue, when Jesus holds us in place, that is if we let him. He also holds us together. Colossians 1, 17 says He is before all things and in Him. And in Him all things hold together. How many of you heard of the molecule, molecule women? Lemon is a clock, is a protein, I know how you are, a protein component of collective. We start out with me. Well, it is a protein component of collective tissue. Right, 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 right. You hold us together. You hold, you hold, I know it. I can't it. You hold all of the cells and purpose together. You hold us together. This, this is a conversation of women. And this is a actual photo of one man. One man is commonly called God's fingerprint of his creation. It holds our lives together. Jesus holds our spirit and emotions together like an anchor. We can't live. We can't live. We can't live without love. We can't live without Jesus. Amen. Amen. We can we can try, but it will not last long. <laughs> I ships, I ships, we read pictures at times. And I tell, I mean, tell, but Holy Spirit will never leave us or forsake us. Amen. And our anchor 
gift of hope. In the book of, of Hebrews 6, 19, 20, it says this. This, this hope we have as an anchor for our new soul, a hope both to her and still fair. And one which enters into the, the well where Jesus enters as a forerunner, having, having become a high priest forever. Our close wishes. Jesus is not only our anchor, he is our hope. I hope during the storm, you have this hope today. Are you putting your hope in him today? And are you letting him, are you letting your anchor hold you today? He wants to hold you in place. When the storm comes, it means everything around you is is crashing around. Be anchored in Jesus. And now I guess I will sing a song. Thank you. 
you're going to face in this life and yeah there's going to be some storms that come along that they rock our boat sometimes don't they Joe? Yes. but you have that anchor in your life the rock of christ jesus in your life you can today if you don't if you're watching online all you have to do is cry out to him admit you're a sinner believe on the lord jesus christ confess him as lord of your life it's the most important decision you'll ever make on this side of eternity and then in eternity beyond do you have that anchor in your life i should think about that brother you want to you'll pray us out you want me to no you do it you pray it out brother pray it out pray it out you got this pray it out okay. <laughs> lord thank you for this thing Thank you for the word that you keep to give to us. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you for always holding us in place and, and, and together for it like what. And we, we thank you for uh, <laughs> you, you the Holy Spirit coming down. Today, we have you to go with us as we go to the picnic or in the fellowship and eat a thing in the choir house. We thank you for all of you with us, Lord. But everyone here, everyone else, all of them, and I ask you to hear them 
Amen. 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 Praise God. God bless each one of you. We'll see you soon at the at the picnic, okay? Be sure you beat beat me and Joey there because we're gonna eat all the barbecue. So. <laughs> God bless you all. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you soon, okay?